Apologies if you can hear the refrigerator in the background. It decides to turn on as I go to hit record. How are you doing, everybody? This is your boy Danny. We're doing a one take. I'm going to upload this directly to YouTube. I'm going to be spending this evening editing video, but I do want to crown them across something. Uh, I was watching some of the boys be, uh, they were talking. Some of the boys be. Yeah, one take. I'm going to start like talking over myself and tripping over my own words, whatever. Anyway, I saw the boys in Discord talking about. Uh, Finding some Bitcoin or some crypto um, in their old wallets from a long time ago, uh, like whether it be coin ba old Coinbase accounts, old Kraken accounts, uh, Binance, whatever they're using. And uh, it reminded me that I actually made a video um, in 2017 about my earnings in Bitcoin. And Alfred actually likes this story. It is a pretty cool story. However, I was very ignorant back then. Um, I didn't know what I know now. First of all, putting and leaving money on exchange. No, no, no. No, no. You buy crypto on exchange, but you don't leave it on exchange, okay? Um, unless it's short-term holdings, of course. Like Dogecoin, um, you can leave it on exchange if you're just trying to flip. But anyway, so I'm going to watch this video. I'm over here bragging about uh, having a like 52 cents in in my coinbase account at the time it's it's an old account i have a new coin i'm with coinbase pro now first of all and i actually have a different account completely but um so it's talking about me having uh 52 cents on a coinbase account an old one um and this was around december of 2017 when bitcoin blew up overnight for the first time in a long time Obviously, it had blown up before then, but I'm just saying one of the more memorable uh, times is when it would hit like eight or 9,000 or 15,000, I think is what the video shows. But <clears throat> my 52 cents turned into like $130 something, dollars, something like that. And I was pretty happy about that. Um, I was unemployed at the time and I was in college. So, struggling college student who was near his 30s, I was still in my 20s at the time. Um, I could, uh, you know, I could use any amount of money I could get. So having 130 bucks at the time was pretty big. Um, yeah, I've had a weird life, you know, living like a college kid at almost 30 at the time. Very strange. I think it was 28, but, um, that being said, I just want to just sort of react to this video. You also notice that I'm a lot slimmer now than I was then. <laughs> I was a blimp. And I was pushing four hundred dollars. Uh, four hundred, yeah. I was pushing four hundred dollars at the time. No, I was pushing four. I was pushing four hundred pounds at the time. I am tripping over my words. One take. We're not going back. This is going directly to YouTube when I get done. That being said, let's have a look at the video, shall we? Here we go. I'm not. I'm letting you know right now. I am not an expert at Bitcoin by any means. Very apparent, Danny. Younger, fatter, Danny. Um. Because if you were, you would have held on to this instead of cashing out. But hey, whatever, right? Here we go. By any means. But, but, I did owe some. I did own some. I don't owe anything. I did own some up until last night. So, let me explain. So, about a year ago, I think maybe a year and a half, maybe two years ago, I don't remember when I first bought Bitcoin. But I bought some Bitcoin. Uh, it wasn't a huge amount fraction of a bitcoin i've never actually owned a full coin um just because i was late to the game to begin with and then when i make moves like this where i sell when it you know takes off instead of holding like i'm supposed to anyway um but i put i basically put 20 dollars in and Bit bitcoin has been growing the last couple of years and back in march april i think I sold my Bitcoin because it turned that twenty dollars into like sixty or seventy or something like that. So I sold it off, and but here's the thing: I didn't sell it in whole amounts, so I had like it was like sixty dollars and change, right? So that left me with fifty-two cents in my Bitcoin wallet that I just let sit there. I just want to note a couple of things. I actually still use this boom arm. It's right here. It's the same one that's in the video. So this boom arm is like, it was new at the time. So this thing's like three years old. Um, but I still have that microphone. It's in storage, but now it's been replaced with HyperX. I can see my gaming PC in the background <laughs> with that old red desk. I don't even have anymore. Um, yeah, times are different. There's my gold MacBook in the corner. 
Uh, and my bed was, this is before my bedroom was my office. My bedroom is now downstairs. But this is the same, I'm in the same room. As you can tell, the walls are still painted the same. I hate the blue and green. I don't know what I was thinking. There's my PewDiePie headset in the back. And I'm wearing uh, the Razer headset, which I still have both of. They're actually over there on that side of the room. You can't see them. But yeah, just pointing out things I'm noticing in the background. Anyway, here we go. And, um, you know, with all the talk recently of Bitcoin on the rise and all the other stuff, something said, hey, Danny, why don't you check your Coinbase? So I opened up my Coinbase, and that 50 cents was $139. Like, And I didn't hold it, and I should have, because it'd be even more now. Even with the crash, it would still be more than it is in this video. Anyway. What? what like how, how do you how do you do that it's, it's, it's crazy but yeah so um let me make sure i'm using the right mic here i am okay cool so yeah so 52 cents turned into 139 dollars thanks to the big spike in bitcoin and that's why i've always said for the last however long i've owned bitcoin that people should invest because stupid stuff like that People should invest, and here I am cashing out. I had no idea what I was doing, guys. And I'm not saying I'm 100% knowing what I'm doing now. I have a better understanding, is all I'm saying. So, the fact that I'm saying people should invest as I just cash out, going against myself. It doesn't, I'm literally contradicting myself, and it, this whole video is cringy. I'm surprised it doesn't have more hate than there already does. Anyway. That could happen. And that's a good kind of stupid. I don't know. It's, it's crazy. 52 cents is now $139. And you best believe I cashed out, boy. You best believe. So Says invest, but then cashes out and brags about cashing out on video. So right now, in fact, let me check real quick to see how much I have now in my coin base. This will reflect the remaining... Out. I have 34 cents in my Coinbase right now. You see that? Because I cashed out already. Um, I'm going to leave it in there. And if Bitcoin keeps going ridiculously high, this could turn into another payout of a hundred and something dollars. That's funny. Totally funny. Um, I was so stupid. So naive. I guess is the more appropriate word. And I'm also going to, I want to invest in Ethereum and Litecoin as well. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just basically saying all this to say, don't be afraid. Yes, there's a risk in cryptocurrency, but there's a risk in anything in life. Um, so, you know, take a risk. I took a risk and look what it did. I turned 52 cents into $139. I'm talking like this is a huge success story. It's $139, Danny. Calm down, dude. I've never heard anybody ever do that in my life. So, just want to It's cuz you didn't do your research is why. I I can't not stand my younger self right now. Like what an idiot. Make a quick video on Bitcoin if you're you know, skeptical. Just don't be. It's secure. Use Coinbase. Coinbase is the most secure way to use to buy and sell Bitcoin, in my opinion, and I, it's actually probably fact as well. Don't don't make claims like that. Just don't. Um, Coinbase is good. There's other alternatives though. Coinbase is not the end all be all. I don't know why I even said all that. It's whatever. I don't know why I did any of this in this video, but stupidity is why. Anyway. But I I can't believe it. 52 cents into $139. That's insane. I Imagine if I had, like, made, uh, like, what if I had bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin back then and sold it now? It would be quite a bit. It would be quite a bit. Why are my eyes so big? Like, why am I, why am I doing this? Guys, it would be so big if I had $1,000 and I sold it now. It would be so big. I don't like the way I used to make videos. I don't like, I don't know why you guys even subscribed back then. I, I don't get it. Anyway, I'm, mm, I'm my biggest critic sometimes. I can't stand it. I'm probably going to react to this video someday. Like, why is this guy wearing cat ears? Why was I wearing cat ears? I like, watch. I can see myself doing that. Anyway. 
I'd go buy a Mercedes, probably used, but I'd go buy a Mercedes if my math. That's right, Danny. Shoot for the stars. Use Mercedes. <laughs> That's correct. I think a thousand dollars in Bitcoin two years ago. If I sold it now, it would be several thousand. So, yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd make this quick video about Bitcoin. I can't believe I made, you know, a decent chunk of money off of some change. I'm doing it again. There's 32 cents or whatever the number was right there now. I'm going to leave that in there. I'm going to see in a month how it's going to look. I am I did leave it in there. It didn't really change that much in a month. Uh, but I've obviously added to it since then. Uh, thank God for that. So, anyway. Very excited. And I'll obviously keep you guys uh, posted, up to date, all the other stuff. So, thanks for watching. Quick video. Have a great day. Have a good weekend. Peace. That 80s music, though. So, yeah, there's uh, the video I made in 2017. December 2nd, 2017. On... Oops, I moved the volume rocker. Anyway, uh, on Bitcoin. Um, I was very new to it. And I didn't diversify my portfolio either. Like I do now. So, yeah. Anyway, you live and you learn. I just don't like how dumb I was. However, I'm going to leave the video up, obviously, because it is it is a part of the history of this channel. Uh, it just shows you what a complete noob, what a novice I was at crypto and Bitcoin. And uh, I definitely know better now. So, just wanted to react to my video and show you guys that uh, your boy can be cringe at times, even in the past. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to edit some more videos so you guys have stuff to watch this weekend. And, uh, yeah, see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Bye.